This AI chatbot can turn your website visitors into leads automatically. If you have a business website, it will save you hours. This is not a normal chatbot because this AI bot can read your business documents like PDFs, pricing sheets, FAQs and service details. It uses RAG knowledge base built with Google Gemini file search. When a visitor asks question like what services do you offer, it searches the documents and gives the exact answer as per the document. And here is the best part. When a customer says, I am interested or I want to start this, the bot automatically collects the name, email and phone number in a natural way and instantly it sends you the lead details on email. So you wake up and you already have qualified leads waiting for you. And this chatbot also has memory using Postgres. So if the same visitor comes back tomorrow, it remembers the previous conversation and it starts from there. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So now let me show you live how this chatbot is going to work so I have embedded this chatbot on my website so let me click here so this is what you will see so now I'll be asking questions from my knowledge base so I have a document uploaded which is an FAQ of slack AI so let me show you how the document looks like so this is how the FAQ document looks like so now I'll be asking a random question from here okay so let me ask this question which voice AI platform do you use okay so I'll copy this I'll come to this chatbot and I'll paste it here. Which voice AI platform do you use? So now let us wait for the answer. Boom, we got the answer. It says we primarily use retail AI for voice agents. We can also work with other platforms like Wappy or Blend AI based on your requirements. So if I compare this answer, so it is the same thing that is mentioned here in this FAQ. Okay, so now if I open my workflow, this is how it looks. So now if I click on execution, so here we can see that it has fetched for this information from the knowledge base. And here I'm using Google Gemini file search. So if I open this, you can see. So this is exactly the same thing that was there in the pdf okay so this is how it works next we'll ask a different question to our chatbot so now let me type another question here hey i'm looking to automate my restaurant business would you be able to help me with that it says we'd be happy to explore how we can help could you share your name and email so let me share my name and my email and now let us see it says thanks dheeraj could you please provide your phone number too so let me enter my phone number now now it says perfect our team will reach out within 24 hours so now if i check the email so as you can see we have received an email so this email will go to the business owner or maybe to the customer service team so now if i open this email we can see this is what it says a new qualified lead dheeraj so hi slack ai team a potential customer showed interest in our services here are the lead details name email phone number and the interest is automate restaurant business okay so please follow up within 24 hours so this is how you can set up the email part so that the key person can get all the details in real time so you can also integrate this with your whatsapp or telegram so now if i see the execution we can see this node was triggered okay so if i open this you can see this was executed here we have the lead name we have the email id we have the phone number okay so this is how it works let us ask a final question here in the chatbot so this time let me ask can i have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with your team so now it says i'd be happy to help book your free consultation here so it is a calendly link so if i click here this is what i'll see so here i can book the meeting based on the time slots available okay so you can directly integrate this with google calendar as well but for simplicity i'm using calendly so this is really amazing so if you're a business owner you can implement this on your own website or if you're learning ai automation you can get this done for any business so this is how the overall workflow looks like so do not worry i'll explain everything in simple okay so the workflow has three important steps so in step one we'll be creating the knowledge base where we'll be uploading the document okay and in step two it will auto fetch for the documents that will be uploading in our google drive folder and then it will automatically upload the document into our knowledge base this is step number two and in step number three this is the actual ai agent where we can chat and we can get the answers so now let us see in deep what happens exactly in step one. So step one, as I said, will be creating a knowledge base. So here we'll be executing this workflow using only two nodes. We just have to click once and then instantly a Gemini file search store will be created. It will also give us a store ID. So this is how the exact workflow looks like for step number one. So here we have added this node where we will click once and it will execute the workflow. And then we have got an HTTP request node. So if I open this, you can see this, the method will be post 
just here and we'll be sending the post request to this url so this is how the url looks like so if you want all these details you can simply go to google search for gemini file search api documentation then you can get all this information here in this page okay so now if i come back here this is how it looks like now let me close this so here authentication will be generic credential type and generic auth type will be query auth and here query auth will be gemini rack 6 so you can create a new credential just click here and then you will be able to create a new credential if you have not got it already for send body you have to toggle this on and here the body content type will be json specific body you have to mention using fills below and name will be display name value will be knowledge base so all these details you can find it in the documentation so now once we click on execute step on the right hand side we can see our file storage name is created already so this is what it is so this information is very useful for our future step so it is important for you to note this down so this is how step number one looks like so now let us check step number two and see what happens here so first it is going to watch for the google drive and it will detect any new files if they are uploaded or not okay so it can be of any format like pdf text documentation etc so after it finds the document it will download the document and then it will again upload that file to our knowledge base that we have recently created okay so it will run every minute whenever we upload upload any document it will learn automatically so now let us see how this works inside so this is how step number two will look like so first we'll open this node and see so here you can see i have connected my google drive account and then here the mode will be every minute it will check every single minute and then you can see i have selected my folder here and then it will watch for every file created okay so after it fetches for the file then it will trigger this node so once this node is executed you can see we have got the file here so this is the name of the file slack ai faq2 okay so this is the same file that we have uploaded here and then if i close this it will download the file okay so if i open this you can see so here i have connected my google credential the resource will be file operation will be download file will be by id and the id you can drag and drop it from the left hand side okay so if i come here so this is the id so you can simply drag and drop this here you can click on execute and then you will get this so this is what it happens and now this is the final load where the actual upload will happen into our knowledge base okay so here if i open this we can see the method is post and this is the url that we are using so this url you can find it from the api documentation so now if i close this we can see the authentication is generic credential type generic auth type will be query auth query auth will be rack gemini 5 and here we are sending the body and here body content type will be n810 binary file input binary field name will be data so this name should match with this name okay so now you can see we have uploaded the file successfully so now we'll close this so this is how step 2 will work so this is how step 3 looks like so it is the most important part of the whole workflow so it does four things first it will check for customers messages second it will remember the conversation history using postgres memory third it is going to do a rack search and it is going to find the accurate information based on what the user asks and then it is going to show us the answers and number four if a customer has shown any sort of interest then it will grab the customer's information and it will send you the email so this is how step number three will look like okay so now if i open our chatbot this is a chatbot if i type here hi so it says hey what would you like to know about our automation services so if i open the execution this is what you are going to see so first we have a chat node here if i open this we can see we have got the action we have got the session id and we have got the chat input which was hi so this is what happens here now i'll close this so the second node we have is a code node here so if i open this we can see the chat input and the session id so to have the message in a proper format and to have the session id we have added this code node so now i'll close this then we have this ai agent will open this here we can see we have given a system prompt here so it says you are alex slack ai ai assistant keep all responses to two to three sentences maximum okay so search first so what it has to search first as soon as it gets any query from the user it has to follow this rule and then after capturing the lead what it has to do i have mentioned it here and then you can see for booking meetings and calls so what it has to do and i have mentioned for callback request what all rules it has to follow so i've given everything in full details so if you want this whole prompt you can find it in my community so i'll put a link down below just click on that link join my free community and you can get it so for this ai agent to think we have added open ai chat model 
okay so here if i open you can see i've added gpt 40 so you can select any model as per your requirement but for me i think gpt 40 is very good in terms of quality of messages for this reason i'm selecting this okay so i'll close this now so then we have postgres chat memory so postgres it is a kind of database technology we'll be using to remember our past conversation and we'll be using this with the help of superbase so if you are using postgres via superbase then you can get 500 mb free which means you can store thousands of conversations for free so if i open my superbase dashboard let me show you how it looks like so this is the dashboard of superbase so you have to create a project so i have already done it for me so if i open this project here if i click on table editor so you can see all this chat history okay with session id which means whenever a user visits again it will remember all the past conversation of that user so now if i open this this is what you can see so i have already connected my superbase account with n810 this is how it looks like so if you need any help with this you can let me know in the comments i can help you with that or else you can go to youtube you can search for any videos how to connect it you will get some idea about it so here in session id i have mentioned defined below so in key i have given this code here it will find the session id and then we have given our table name as n n chat histories and then the context window length it is 20 you can choose anything as per your requirement it means in my case it will remember the past 20 interactions so then we have search knowledge base tool okay so let me ask any question from the knowledge base for example this is the pdf document that i have just uploaded so let me ask this question what is the response time of the ai chatbot so we'll come to this chatbot we'll enter this what is the response time of the AI chatbot? Let me wait for the answer. It says the response time of the AI chatbot is typically one to three seconds. Okay. So this information was fetched from the knowledge base. Okay. So now if I come to my workflow, let us see the workflow. This is the workflow. So if I click on execution, this time you will see it has fetched for the information using our knowledge base. If I open this, you can see here I have given a description. So this is the description here. Call this tool first for any user question about Slack AI services, pricing capabilities or policies. This tool searches Slack AI's knowledge base for accurate answers about services, pricing, technical capabilities, working hours, what we do and what we don't. So now if I close this, you can see the method is post. We have given this URL. You can get this URL in the API documentation. So for authentication, we have got generic credential type. Generic auth type is query auth. Query auth will be Gemini Rec 6. So this could be different in your case. And then I have sent a body. Specific body will be using JSON. And this is the JSON I have mentioned. So if you want this code, you can join my community. You can get this code there. And now if I close this, you can see on the right hand side, it has given us the answer here. The response time for AI chatbot is typically one to three seconds. So this is the same answer that we have got there. Okay. So this is how it is going to work. Now I'll close this. So next we have call Gmail tool. So whenever a user will ask to speak to a real human, only then this tool will get triggered. So if I open this, this is what you can see. I've connected my Gmail account. I've given this description here. If I open this, you can see use this tool when a customer wants to talk to a human or request a call back and provide their name and phone number. Okay. So now resource is message operation is sent to this is my slack ai email id here i have mentioned the subject now this is the message that i have given here hi slack ai team a customer has requested a call back here are the details name phone number reason please call them as soon as possible this is what is going to trigger now similarly if i see the second tool it is lead capture tool so if i open this here you can see the description Use this tool when a customer interested in a project provides their name and email. Okay, so now you can see the resources message operation is sent to Slack AI and then the subject is this. The email type will be text. Here is the message. A potential customer showed interest in our services. Here are the lead details. So let me show you a demo and show you like how this will work. So if I open my chatbot again, let me type here. Hey, can you help me with my automation for my grocery business? So it says, we'd be happy to explore how we can help you with automation for your grocery business. Could you share your name and email? So let me type here, Dheeraj and Dheeraj at gmail.com. Now it is going to ask for the phone number. Let me enter a dummy phone number. Let me check now. It says perfect. Our team will reach out within 24 hours to discuss automation for your grocery business. So now if I see the execution here, 
you can see this node was triggered this time okay so the email has been sent if i open my email let me check my email this is the email so i'll open this we can see this email hi slack ai team a potential customer showed interest in our services here is the name email phone number and the interest was automation for grocery business okay so this is how this is going to work so now if we have to add this chatbot into our website so we just have to copy paste a code from our na10 okay so we can do it for wix we can do it for wordpress shopify or any html website so let me show you how this works so just come to your workflow so this is my workflow i'll just open this and then you'll have to copy this url from here you have to make the chat publicly available you just have to turn this on the mode will be embedded chat and then you have to follow the instruction here i'll click here so this is the instruction that you will see if you scroll down below you will get this code here you will just have to replace this with your url okay so you just have to replace this with this url just mention this url here and then copy the entire thing and you can paste this in your header section for your website builder whatever you are using so in my case what i have done is that i have copied the whole thing from this page and i have given it to chat gpt and along with this i have given this url there and i have mentioned that i want to use this chat widget in my wix website so can you please give me the complete code which i can directly copy paste is there and give me the step by step guide so it has given me a code so this is my wix dashboard i've clicked on settings and then if i come down below i will see this option of custom code if i open this so here you can see three options head body start body end so in body end i have clicked here and i've selected edit settings so i have copy pasted the whole code here and i have renamed this as slack ai chatbot and i've clicked on apply so after doing this i have got this chat widget in my website so you can easily have this widget for your website builder you don't have to worry about it just ask chat gpt you'll get everything now if you need the json file for this workflow or if you need the step by step guide where i have mentioned each and everything clearly including the url the prompt the code you can simply join my free school community Community, you can get it everything for free so now you can easily build a rag based ai chatbot for your website so if you like this video you can put a thumbs up and if you want more ai automation videos you can subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching